Hello, everyone. This is Radar Roy. And first off, I'd like to welcome you to our home and also our testing facility out here in Morristown, Arizona. I first became acquainted with the laser interceptor back in 2007 during one of our earlier radar detector shootouts. We had representatives from some of the major radar detector manufacturers, such as Bell, Escort, Whistler, members of our radar detector net form, and also the guys at LIDAR. We had an uninvited guest. It was a gentleman by the name of Ivan who was the president of Laser Interceptor. He crashed our party. But he said, Roy, the reason I'm here is I have a new laser jamming device. It's going to jam everything that you put against it, and we're just going to amaze you. We'll, in fact, we'll even put this system, a prototype system, on your motorhome so you can test it. Well, I'm skeptical. I got a Freightliner motorhome, very large profile vehicle. But we gave him, you know, the benefit of the doubt. He installed it, and by good, it just blew us all away. The laser interceptor jammed every laser gun that we had put against it. And what was even more surprising, that we shot multiple laser guns at the same time, and it jammed, the, uh, jammed all the laser guns except for the exception of one run. And the punch through rate was right about 25 feet. So it was just totally amazed me. So since 2007, after the production units started coming out, I installed the laser interceptor in my own personal Ford F-250 pickup truck, right alongside the Blinder M-47 and also Escort's, Escort's ZR-4. And let me tell you guys, the laser interceptor just blew all the other models away. Now, before I go into the laser interceptor, there are some things I need to make you aware of, specifically the laws. The Food and Drug Administration administers the laws as far as laser, not the Federal Communications Commission. And there are no laws on the federal books that would prohibit you for having a laser jammer in your vehicle. Now, there are laws in states that do regulate or prohibit the use of a laser jamming device in your vehicle, such as California, Nebraska, Illinois, Colorado, Washington, D.C. Now, to what I would recommend you do before you go out and invest in one of these, please check the law specific to your state or go to our RadarRoysBuyersGuide.com. And in our buyer's guide, we have a full listing of all the states that uh, these are prohibited. Now, the laser interceptor is unique uh, from the other laser jammers that are currently on the market in that it's a Class 1M laser device meaning that the laser interceptor uses laser diodes instead of laser LEDs. Now, there's a big difference uh, with the laser diodes and the laser LEDs. Because of the high power of the laser interceptor, again, it will jam virtually every police laser gun you will put it up against. Now, this is what you're going to get in the box if you do order one. The first item that you notice will be the controller. This is the brains of the laser interceptor. Here is where the laser sensors would plug in, and I'll take just one of these little laser sensors, and it'll, you'll be able to plug four of the laser sensors into it. And then on the other side, you have the power. This is where you would attach it to the fuse box. This typically would go under the dash of your vehicle, and right inside is the speaker. So, you know, please make sure the speaker is clear so you can hear the prompts. These are the laser heads. Depending on which model you order, if you order the dual head, you'll get two heads. If you order the quad head, you'll get four heads. Now, t typical, uh, typically, unless you have a semi-truck, two heads are sufficient uh, for jamming. Uh, here on our Ford F-250, we have two heads, and it jams right to gun. Whereas if we were using the blinder, M, uh, blinder unit, we would need the blinder M-47, having a total of four heads to get the same type of performance. Now, uh, along with the laser sensor heads, you're going to get some mounting brackets. The mounting brackets, again, would just, you know, you would install these to your car and then affix the laser jamming heads on top of it. You'll, you'll receive a wiring harness. The wiring harness will connect to the CPU box. And then you'll also have a power switch. The power switch you can install on your dash or maybe tape it under your dash. Just make sure you have some easy access to it so you can turn the unit off and on. Uh, of course, you're going to have a manual to kind of give you some instructions on using this. Now, some important things to uh, be aware of, and this goes for installing any laser jammer, is basically make sure that when you install these that the front head is clear, the front of these are clear. Laser is light, and if there's any obstruction such as a grill or any wire mesh, they're not going to work. 
So make sure that they're totally unobstructed to the front. Typically, when I install them, such as in our F-250, I use uh, double-sided 3M tape uh, to tape it down, and we've installed these over three years ago, and they're holding just fine. Now, guys and gals, if you're interested in more information about the laser interceptor, I would recommend that you check out my buyer's guide. My buyer's guide is RadarRoy'sBuyersGuide.com. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing the laser interceptor, please use the link right here below and then this discount code that's right here. By using this link below and this discount code, you'll get 10% off your purchase. If you have any questions whatsoever about the laser interceptor or any other radar detector or laser, laser jamming device, please email me directly. My personal email is RadarRoy at RadarRoy.com. Now, guys, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please do me a big favor. Please vote on it with the link below by giving it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, check out my uh, personal form. It's RadarRoy at ra uh, RadarRoy.com is my personal form. And again, my buyer's guide is RadarRoy's buyer's guide. Hey, guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, have a great day. Please drive safe and please drive smart. Bye-bye.